Today I'm going to show you how to make a toilet snake with a wire clothes hanger and a little bit of tape and a throwaway towel here. Basically what you're going to want to do, um, if you've seen an earlier video, this is the a coat hanger here, a wire coat hanger. We used it for a sink and we have the we made a little hook here at the end. Now what we're going to do is this is like a paint rag and the reason I'm using a paint rag is because I'm not going to want to use it again after I put it in the toilet so it's something you can just throw away and not think about it. You can get them from the home improvement store for like a pack of 20 or 40 for like 10 bucks or something. So what I do is I will kind of wrap it kind of like this around the edge where that hook was. And then what, what I'll do is I'll take some tape, you can use like electrical tape or tape or duct tape, just something that's semi waterproof. I'll start at the bottom here. I'll tape it to the actual coat hanger and then I'll move up here. And the reason why I'm attaching it to the coat hanger too, so kind of like, looks kind of weird, but I'll go ahead and there you go. The reason why I'm attaching it to the coat hanger itself <clears throat> is because if you just attach it to itself, when you're in the toilet and plunging it, this thing's just going to come off and that's going to be a big pain too. And it'll clog up your toilet more. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of think of the anatomy of the toilet. So if you kind of look, you can look at the side of it and it goes down and then up. So you can kind of just imagine you're going to go in and then it's going to go up first. So I'll kind of give it like a little angle already, like a little bend up and then make sure it just can go that way a little bit. So here we go. We'll go in. And you can just kind of turn it around. And since I've already got this type of handle here, you can even use this to your advantage and turn it a little bit like that. You can kind of turn it a little bit like that. And you can kind of hear, this toilet currently is not clogged, but it's almost like plunging a little bit and you kind of will feed it through. And then basically once you feel you kind of, once you've fed it through a little bit and you feel like you've kind of got some motion, you can pull it in and out. You can kind of try once and just pull it back and see if all the water will go through. Um, and then once you feel like you're confident, just bring it back, go ahead and flush it. And if it flushes, then awesome. So um, you can try this over and over again. You just wanna make sure that your rag is taped um, to the actual line. If you're nervous about it too, you can actually tape all the way up to where your hand is. That way you've got a physical hand on the tape. So you know it's not really gonna go anywhere unless you're getting really intense with it. But after you do this, you can also go back to using um, a plunger, see if you've loosened things up, um, or you can go back to the dish soap and try that. So, And you would wanna throw this away afterwards. So, of course. All right, hope that helped guys, and um, go ahead and subscribe, and check out the next video. Thanks so much.